So we got now we've got to get to Germany. So we want to play on the B500, but it's a six hour ride to Germany on motorways. Not this one, hang on, this says not that one. Don't get don't get carried away. Ah <laughs> the arse man! James, can you let me off, please? <laughs> oh god! My side stand, please. Ah assistance. An evening of fun on the B500. Oh yeah! Look at the view. Absolutely bloody gorgeous. We're gonna get changed, freshen up. <laughs> One was gonna reapply his lipstick, and then we're gonna hit the streets. Let's have a few beers here later. A few beers here later on? Oh, yes, sir. I like your thinking. And put the beds in together. Put the beds together. Woohoo! Oh, I believe you had the double bed last time. I All believe right. it's I believe it's my turn for the double bed. Yeah, look, without even saying it, I put my stuff on. Uh, that that's not bad. It's fine, isn't it? So uh, we, we've arrived at the pension. I think that's some sort of dig at me. That the pension. Come on, come on. We're just going to head out to the B500 to catch some evening rays and some beautiful corners. Unload all the luggage, absolute bare minimums, out to enjoy ourselves. <sighs> Let's do it. My ass is ruined though. Absolutely ruined. That's what happens when you go away for a week with the Womble. You come back with a very sore bottom. But so much good shit about the B500. It better have been worth the sore body and six hours on the motorway. So pretty round here though. Look at that, stunning. Let's see if how the roads compare to those of the Pyrenees. Because let's be honest, I think that trip of the Pyrenees, the best roads I've ever ridden. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. The road, the road to the Pyrenees was the best one, wasn't it? <laughs> Look at these, looking good so far. We've got some squared tyres to, to, to re-corner re again. Oh, it's such a shame we've got to go back tomorrow. We needed a whole day playing on this, didn't we? Such a whirlwind tour we've had. Yeah, this is good, mate. It's a tighty. That's how I like them. Some sort of uh, shed on wheel. Shed on wheels, mate. A bit like the Tuono. <laughs> yeah, this is the ultimate Friday evening, isn't it? Ultimate Friday evening fun. Never mind getting beard up. Give me this any day of the week. Look at this evening. Look at the view. Oh. Look at that. Hello, buddy. What a way to unwind from work if you live around here. I should have bought my knee sliders. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, red shit and everything. It's the thing you've got to really pay attention, haven't you, to the, the road markings, because that. What it's all about. Off the brake, just lay it in. Off the brake, lay it down. Blinded by the sun. That's good, so having your picnic, watch people come round with the knee down. It's like the Isle of Man TT. These people aren't quick enough. <laughs> we need to get past them. That is some corners in it, eh? That's a set of bends. Is there another bit the other side of the right then? Oh. oh. That 
That is good, isn't it? Hey, time to go back the other way again. <laughs> These are pretty stunning roads, mate. Tighty. Tighty with the reds. 200 profile tyre or not, mate. There shouldn't be any chicken strips after this. Stunning bit of road, though. Means a knee down. We've got a guy behind you. It's the guy on the RCA. Yeah. He's probably a local and knows his roads on the back of his hand. He wants you. He wants some of the chops, does he? Well, fellow KTM, you know. That's the only thing I'll let by. to my data. <laughs> he stopped to come and do it again now. He, he come past me. Uh, he, yeah, 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 he come past me. And then he, he, I followed him for a bit. And then I, well, he was sort of getting away. Oh dear, that was fun, that, wasn't it, eh? Wowzers. Come on out of the way, you. No, oh, you weren't joking. What an epic bit of road. You weren't wrong, were you? Tight one. Switch back. This one we joined it now, innit? So we go straight on this time. Right there. Section there, and you see those those sweepers ahead of you. 
Unbelievable. And it's not over yet. It's worth getting a sore bottom for. Look at it going up here there. Oh. See if he wants any. Ah, uh, oh, my ass is not good. Not good at all. How good is that for a bit of road? That's up there, isn't it? That is. I don't know. Is that better than what we were doing yesterday? And the Pyrenees. It's only a short section this though, isn't it, I suppose. Whereas the Pyrenees are cool all the way along. As a section of road, that is phenomenal, isn't it? Time for schnitzel, I reckon. Schnitzel and sausage. I don't think I could take any more sausage. There's been too much sausage on this trip already. <laughs> too much salesy sausage. <laughs> James, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I lift, I cock my leg in anticipation. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Could you now massage my bottom because this is going to be very painful. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, this is how children used to feel at school if they'd been beaten by the teacher with a with a cane on their ass. That is, uh, yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Red raw ass. What a road, though. What a road. And it looks like this place shut to me, mate. Where is it? Ooh, bit of sausage. Bit of sausage. That's not the first bit of sausage you've had on this holiday. <laughs> so we're back in the UK. It was about six months ago we went on the Spain trip. So this is long overdue by the time I've got around to editing the videos and screwing about. So. Fantastic trip. I mean, mm. we, we basically overdid the miles. We chose to do ridiculous miles, didn't we? So if we did it again, yeah. we, we wouldn't... Go, well, I, mean, I think we were covering 700 miles a day at some point, didn't we? It felt like that. I think we did. I think we did a few... Uh, at least one day of 700 miles. I think, I think the worst day was going from Spain up to... France, yeah, it? when we come out to go to Valence, yeah. wasn't it? Well, we come out, we've done the Pyrenees, it was about five o'clock in the afternoon, and then we're like, shit, we've got another yeah. five hours riding. <laughs> After been going up there, right, I don't think you mentioned day. it once. My arse is fine, my arse is fine. So, yeah, so it's fantastic, but if you want to do a trip like that, definitely don't try and take do the amount of miles we did. It was just ridiculous, wasn't yeah. it? But, Take it easy, less miles. What do you reckon? 300 miles a day? Try and limit it to about 300, really. Do you know, I think I'd do it as day. That's so right. either work from one base and then go oh, out and come back. I see. Or, or you get so far and get your phone and out just, and find out the nearest. Yeah, yeah. Because we only, we only had three days, really, didn't we? That's the trouble. We had we had to be yeah, back. Yeah, we had to get to a certain point. And we wanted to do the B500, we wanted to do the Pyrenees, so we had to basically squeeze it into the time mm -hmm. we had. So. Yeah, allow more time, or like you say, just play it by ear. Or was it booking.com? There's another thing someone else is saying on the app. All right, that's me auction finishing. But yeah, it was great. I mean, coming home, we didn't. I didn't video anything that last day coming home because what well, the wind buffeting with the camera on the helmet really made a difference having the GoPro on the mm. helmet when we were gonna, knew we were going to be doing as fast a speed as possible to blast from Germany back to Calais. Yeah. And then all the way back, wasn't it? So I didn't video anything for that because I didn't want the extra wind buffeting of having a camera on. And that was hard, wasn't it? Even coming home was a was a long day, wasn't it? That next yeah. day. And my ass I woke it up in the as well, didn't it? When we got back. It pissed with rain. It pissed with rain. I woke up in the morning, my ass was hurting while I was still laying in bed. And I remember laying there thinking nothing to do with you. <laughs> Must hasten to add. But I remember thinking, how the I'm hell like stains out my fingers. <laughs> how the hell am I gonna manage to ride 
all day long for like probably another 10 hours in the saddle, wasn't it? Yeah. Coming back. How am I going to do 10 hours in, in that saddle when my ass is sore before I've even got on the bike? Um, I actually had to take some precautions and I was a thief. A thief. And I stole, I stole the pillow from Pension Williams to sit on the to sit on a cushion on the way home. So I knew I, I was desperate. Somewhere I have a memento stolen from Pension Williams to ride all the way home on. So I don't think they want it back, probably. And it's still so fresh. <laughs> Beautiful. Well aired, though. It's just well aired. But I had no choice because my ass was in tatters. It was in. T so I, I, I saw that little cushion and thought. That'll go in the bag <laughs> until we get around the corner and I can put it on the seat. And it did help, to be fair, it did help. But yeah, and I, I actually had sores on my ass for the last, next two weeks after we got home. I couldn't possibly have done any more days riding. I was well, we haven't got enough photos. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have done any more riding after that. And you've no, had a bad back for about bad, five months, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> I think that was the rucksack, to be fair. What, the rucksack on your back? Yeah, you're just leaning over constantly. Yeah, you've been crippled, haven't you? So you, yeah. you, you've not done any riding this year because, yeah. well, about a week after you got back, your back yeah. played up, didn't it? It was about 10 weeks, I think. 10 weeks of bad Ten backs. Weeks. All because of it. <laughs> and my ass still isn't right now. <laughs> not that it gets really sore really easily, which is one of the reasons why the GSXR, I find that actually more comfortable than the Super Tube because you just sat up with all the weight on your yeah, ass I on think, the naked. Yeah, that's the thing. On your KTM, you were. Uh, yeah. Whereas at least with the Tuona, you are. You, 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 you fooled a little bit, aren't you? Mm. I think, and it just probably saves a little bit on your ass. So, yeah, I actually find sports bikes more comfortable because, uh, yeah, that trip ruined my bottom. <laughs> Not for good reasons. <laughs>